Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Study with Soumya. I hope you all are doing absolutely fine. Well, first of all, if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed this channel till now, make sure to subscribe. This channel is going to be very helpful for you for your placement preparation. Well, in this video, I'm going to discuss the important technical topics that you have to prepare for your TCS and QT exam, right? So when I was analyzing the papers, like during my preparation itself, I have analyzed the previous year papers of the TCS and QT. And for you as well, before making any video, it's very important to analyze the content so that I can deliver the proper content to you so that you can prepare accordingly. So I have analyzed the previous year questions. So where I came to know that there are certain topics which are very, very important and you must have to prepare. Generally, TCS do ask questions from these topic only really you can get one or two question other than from these topic so make sure to watch the video till the end this video is going to be very helpful for you also don't forget to subscribe this channel and be a part of our telegram community as well but before this here is something amazing for you well this is the relevel platform by an academy here you can get a job on the basis of your skills now skills will help you to get a job not your degree and the marks you have certainly what happen is students cannot apply for many of the opportunities due to their marks criteria degree criteria and all but here this platform by an academy is giving you a chance to get placed in amazing companies like escort or fit one mg reserve pay many product based companies and startups they have collaborated with just to get pleased you in your dream company right so they are providing the test on business development front end development back end development let's have a quick look as well so what you have to do is registration is just free of course they are not charging you anything so why not give a chance to this test let's see if this can help you to grab a wonderful opportunity right so you can grab jobs offer worth rupees 15 lpa and here are the rounds mentioned you can just go through them so simply you have to do sign up then you have to do the registration for the role you are interested in simply click on register for free choose your slot then upload your video resume for confirmation of the slot and then give the test from the home itself right so that's an amazing opportunity for you the link is given in the description itself check the link do the registration participate in the test and get placed in your dream company well let's discuss the important topics that must must you have to revise you have to learn for tcs and qt well i know that this is the end time and you have less time but even then you can prepare these topics you can have a look because generally what happen is you know that you will be having in the technical part mcqs and coding questions right these are the two things you will be having first of all let me tell you i usually get comments from the students regarding that what should be the proper language proper coding language that we can choose for tcs and qt well you can go with any language maybe it's python c c++ java now they do complain that python doesn't work and this language doesn't work well sometimes even uh, i can understand yeah sometimes there is some compiler issues but if you are doing it properly that it can run but don't worry the wait is for the coding questions that you are going to get is not that much so even if you are able to solve just one question and if you are not able to solve any of them but you are doing good in the cognitive part make a note of that you have to do good, good in the cognitive part only then this coding questions thing can be eliminated if you haven't done well but if you are not doing well in the cognitive and even in the coding questions then for sure your selection can be in doubt right it can be a doubtful situation in that case otherwise they are not going to give that much difference because i think even they can understand that there is some issues from their side fine so it's not like you cannot go with python or you cannot go with c choose any language also it's not working make sure to write the logic itself it like it's not like you are leaving the question blank itself if you are able to understand the question you have understood the logic by some reasons it's not running um i don't know like maybe the issues can be in your logic itself in your code itself or from their side right so don't leave it blank mention the logic the algorithm that you have come up, come up with for the particular problem so the next thing remaining is mcqs well if you will go through the previous year questions paper the mcqs are going to be fairly easy now here in that case as well you will be getting option based option based technical question mcqs option based technical questions you will be having other thing that they do have in this technical questions part instead of writing is mcq i should write technical questions so in that part what they do have like some 
output based question is given to you some output based question is given and just a rectangular block will be there and you have to write the output so for this there will be no option so these kind of questions are also asked in the tcs so make sure that you are ready for these sort of questions you have done the practice now for practice i have already told india bix you can refer right multiple other platforms are also there so it's not like there is any scarcity of the platform you can go with any platform just the thing is that your concepts should be clear if your concepts are clear definitely you will be able to understand you will be able to write the correct solution believe me the questions are not that difficult if your concepts are clear you will be able to solve them and for mcqs you already have four options so some sort of idea will be there in your mind but for these kind of questions where you have to directly write the output or directly write the answer in the box in that case you should be accurate your answer should be exact right because you don't have the options so i guess now you have got some sort of understanding while talking about the topics first of all so the first and the most important topic is array now again a very basic data structure but a important one so all the basics related with the array should be clear to you you can solve the mcqs like send foundry also is there you can get many mcqs on that platform as well so you can solve the mcqs then next one is q q is very important like basic questions itself they can ask like it is based on the strategy of strategy of first in first out that is fifo right some basic questions what are the operations that we can do in qdq so basic understanding should be clear in your mind what is dq even they can ask that as well what is dq right it's not like theory based question will be there some practical implementation can be there suppose they have asked that you have placed you have placed plates on a table now you want to remove one plate from the from this collection of plates that you have placed on the table which data structure it is actually so it's like this is you have placed the table now if you are removing this plate from the top then which data structure it is it is nothing but a stack that is last in first out so these sort of questions will be there right what is underflow condition overflow condition in the stack part Uh, operations like is push and pop or these sort of question like suppose there is a stack some elements has been pushed to it some operations is done on to it like push 23 pop 24 push 24 sorry push 25 pop pop push 36 then what will be the topmost element these sort of questions very basic questions are going to be but if some sort of concepts are lagging behind if concepts are not clear then this can be a problem now tree is very favorite topic of the tcs in the tree they usually ask about basic questions from the binary tree um binary tree complete binary tree heap they can ask right heap they can ask traversal thing traversal pre order traversal you have to like a tree is given to you you have to determine the pre order traversal or post order traversal let me write pre post pre post order traversal in order traversal always make a note of that that if it is a binary search tree uh, in order traversal will always be sorted right if the numbers are there in order traversal will always be sorted for heap like some basic understanding question like heap is what sort of tree so uh, options can be there like complete binary tree and all so complete binary tree right max heap min heap the implementation and the properties of these data structure should be there in your mind so that you can give the accurate answer so the basic thing is that the important thing is that you have to try best from your side because questions are going to be easy only and if you are able to clear that test it will certainly give you confidence and just believe me if you have cleared the written test if you have cleared the written test in interview they do eliminate very less number of candidates only 2 to 3% i guess should be eliminated in um interview only if you are doing some sort of blunder or uh, you are not able to answer basic question or like certain reasons can be there you got nervous and other things we will discuss on these sort of things later when the interview will get started as of now your main focus should be on written test right if you have cleared the written test 95% your selection is fixed in the tcs right so that's why focus on the written part focus on the cognitive part right and cognitive is also very very important when it comes to uh, tcs and i have told this thing many times multiple times in the videos that i have um uploaded regarding tcs so be 
make sure to correct as many questions as you can do in the cognitive part what i personally realized itself is that you have to maintain both the things speed and time speed and time you have to manage these two things together during the competitive exam usually when you are solving the questions you feel like you'll be able to solve them when but when there is a time constraint given there is a time constraint given that in 20 minutes you have to solve these many questions in 30 minutes you have to solve these many questions this put a pressure condition so make sure that you have already gone through such kind of pressure condition how you can go give mock mock uh, you can just search it on the google itself mock on the tcs or like any company it's not like just it's a tcs it's a you are giving because for the tcs also the questions are not going to be repeat make a note of that questions are not going to go going to be repeat in the case of tcs by understanding by going through the previous year questions you can get the idea you can get a sort of understanding that what sort of difficulty level you are going to face in the tcs but don't think that questions are going to be repeated right and one thing about coding part that i would like to mention about coding part yeah in tcs uh, first let me complete this technical questions so software engineering also they have started asking software engineering your core subjects your core subjects or like computer science related subject that is software engineering questions uh, like is the model model are very very important software engineering part so models and then operating system questions easy questions will be there like is from uh, they can be from asset property transaction or and these sort of thing you must be understanding right so good it's it's important that you must be having the basic understanding of these computer science related subjects right because they have started asking questions on these subjects as well yeah so i was discussing something about coding coding question if you will go through if you will see any previous year question of the is itself the question will be fairly lengthy the coding question will be fairly lengthy or very wordy i should say but when you will see the code for the simple so that's very small so what usually happen is they are going to they are trying to trick you by providing a lengthy statement so that you can get afraid and you will be feeling like okay that question can't be solved by me because the language is very long and probably the question uh, the code is also going to be very lengthy and very difficult so you will start giving up before even trying you will start giving up but that's a fault that's a trap for you so i always recommend always go through the complete problem understand what the problem is trying to say because at the last what you will come to know the code was very very easy so just don't fall for the language it's not just if the language is very long if the statement given for the coding part is lengthy or wordy the code will also be difficult that's not the case the code will be easy only generally what topics they do prefer for the coding part itself uh, hardly like there will be questions in the coding based on loops string related questions array related question 1d array 2d array both can be included simple if else they are not going to ask you question from the data structures like as a stack queue tree graph they are not going to be asked right so no need to worry about that part that's why i'm saying the coding question will be easy only it's just they are tr uh, trying to trick you by providing a lengthy or wordy statement so you have to understand each and every line because in coding it is going to uh, take very few minutes but in understanding the problem it will take time so understand it properly and then try to code for the same right so this is all from my side if you are following all these things definitely definitely you are going to do good in the tcs exam if you have any doubt any query make sure to do the comment also share this video among your friends as well who are having tcs in qt exam in upcoming days thank you for watching this video keep learning guys keep preparing bye bye